Hey there, before we get into the battles, uh, just a quick heads up. So this is three battles. It started off just as one battle. But this is three battles in the LA-5 with the new pilot. Um, give you some heads up on a, his impact on this plane and this plane's impact on your battles. So with that being said, let's hop right into it. Postal here. So today we're taking out the LA-5. Why? Well, we got the uh, nifty old uh, pilot. Uh, what is it? Vasily, Vasily Pavlov? I'm probably pronouncing that completely wrong. I um, have this in a... Let's see. We're in a Tier 7 battle again. We keep running into Tier 7 battles, but that's fine. We'll make it work. Um, this is a really good plane to start off with. I kept this plane before I got this pilot. Um, I didn't have a great pilot in it to begin with, but this pilot definitely takes it to the next level. Um, first thing you might notice is it does 10% more damage, which is pretty cool. Next thing you may have noticed is I've actually got two more seconds of boost. Um, you get 25% more boost with this particular pilot in this particular plane. Um, and that's pretty friggin' cool in my humble opinion. Uh, 10 seconds of boost on a tier six light fighter is a pretty big deal. Um, let's get the hell out of Dodge here. I do not need to be um, slapped around by the AA. What do we need to worry about? We've got a P-39 and a P-51. So really nothing, um, as far as maneuverability is concerned. Let's go ahead and get to the center. They still haven't captured that command center. That's what we call disappointing. Come on, guys. Seriously. Let's go ahead and knock out this P-39, a plane I absolutely love. I wish there was P-39 part to a line. Uh, are you going to die now? In this game, it would be awesome. I love the P-51s. Well, I like the P-51s, but I, I love the P-39s. Um, for the love of God, can... Sweet baby Jesus, can we... Can we... <sighs> My last team I was playing with, uh, just come, it was that map that has two military bases and two um, garrisons. And God, they wanted to capture the garrisons so bad. They had wanted nothing to do with the military bases. I was like, oh, well, if we wanted, to, if, if we were going to play to lose, then I should have been playing the game differently. Uh, it was such a frustrating battle. But, let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Get rid of this guy. Excellent day. Get rid of this guy. Excellent day. And I'm still working on the Japanese pilot now on the NA server. I'm actually working on the Japanese pilot on both servers. I think I can get it on the EU server, I'm hoping. Um, cool. This friggin' plane is so. I mean, look how quickly it turns now with this pilot. So, taking. The additional pilot, adding this special pilot to the plane, really gives it uh, a lot of good characteristics. Unfortunately, the AA is just kicking my butt here. Let's see if I can continue to avoid it. Knock out this P-40. Problem that I'm going to run into is that's not going to be enough to kill this, right? So let's see if we can... Oh, wait a minute. Can I do this? I don't usually shoot at the ground in this plane, but, uh, you know, take advantage of situations, right? So we did get that other 
command center. That is excellent. That means we'll be moving to take their um, mine. And we can use our 23 millimeters of justice to take out this JU-88P. Looks like both of the uh, GAs are moving in on this particular sector. So, alright, cool. Well, we did enough damage versus him. Ow, rear gunner. They captured our plant. How disappointing. These 23 mil cannons are pretty friggin' strong. Dang, they captured the center too. So at least we've got the um, command centers, I guess. That's about all we've got at this point. Let's go ahead and get the middle garrison again, because I can't do a whole hell of a lot versus the, um, the mining facilities, right? The most I can do there is, like, kill... GA that's still in the sector or something like that. Let's go ahead and save our boost. We've got no reason to be boosting. Except for right now. Now we boost. Get the light fighters just because they're going to be easier to take out, hopefully. Everything goes correctly. This plane definitely can take on the... Oh, 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 oh. Definitely can take on the heavy fighters, but it's typically something that um, I tend to go for secondary. Gives me some flexibility. All right, let's get our boost on. We've got the engine cooling on here. Trying not to overheat the cannons too much. I'm precariously low on hit points. Shoot, heavy fighter inbound. La -la 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 -la. All right, I don't even know what my mission is. I kind of wish you could hit the tab button and it would show the mission at the bottom. Um, any of the missions would be super small. What? What just shot me? All right, let's get our hit points back. We, Ooh. we desperately need to get mining facilities. They're actually going to win just by the mining facilities, right? Uh, we're about to get the other mining facility, I believe. Let's go defend this command center, I guess. Yeah, they just got crud. They're gonna win from this mining facility. Okay, we need to come over here. And we need to kill some planes to allow our heavy planes to do their thing. P-51H I should not be catching up to, but I am. There's some multi-rolls up top. Come on, P-51H, come on back. Come on, Burke. Let's get down. Alright, careful what you wish for there, Postal, because now you got a P-51 inbound. And as not strong as their guns are, they're still not a lot of health. And he's definitely got hit for speed. Yes! Oh! That's one way to flip and flip stuff, huh? Um, cool. So we're going to hang out here, actually. It's now our sector, and we should be able to kill everything that does spawn. There's not a lot left to spawn. Um, let's see what we can do here. I have not destroyed any while defending. I've had to be cap, cap, capping, and now we win. Great job today. We'll be waiting so for we'll you take back it. Home. Got that Akamatsu. Was that the next mission? I don't think so. What is the next mission? Let's check it out. All right, so that one we only got um, 8,000, 9,000 personal points, right? Almost 10,000. Nothing over the top. But we did get 13, 13 frags, none while defending. This would have been, like, grade 5 easy if we could have just gotten, like, 3 defense kills or 4 defense kills, which you typically get in a light fighter. We did get the Akamatsu, which I completely freaking forgot was the, the fifth mission, fifth part of the Stage 1 mission. So we've completed that. And now we're moving on to Expert Pilot, ooh, um, which will be easy squeezy. Um, and then we'll move on from there. Um, I'm going to post this part, uh, the second part of uh, the video, just because, well, because it shows me completing this, um, this option here really quick. And... It just kind of shows you like this plane has the ability with this new pilot to really like be where you need it to be. 
one of the weaknesses of the LA line until you get to like tier tier eight, kind of um, tier nine and tier ten for sure. Is until you get to that point, it's a relatively slow line, not quite yak or zero slow, but definitely slower than other lines. Well, if you get this universal skill with this pilot, you increase the boost duration by 25%, like I mentioned, and the damage inflicted by forward firing weapons by 10%. Again, it's only for the LA-5. Um, that, combined with decreases the risk of fire by 20% and damage taken by AA guns, means that you can be a little bit more aggressive as far as attacking, like going from sector to sector, being the first one in that sector, and you know not having it be detrimental to you. Um, that's pretty darn nice in my opinion. Now, next up, I definitely need to get Engine Guru too, and that way we can um, you know get a little bit more boost on this plane and really push it to the next level. Um, I did go for uh, Marksman 1, just because you know, I only had two more points left, and I want to make sure that my 23 millimeter cannons are hitting. Um, but I do have this plane specialized. The, um, whether I go for Engine Guru, or I might go for Aerodynamics Expert, once I get two points and then go to Engine Guru, we'll see. I really do want to get um, this plane maxed out. It's a really, really fun tier six plane. And there's certainly no reason that you can't um, have a good time in this plane. It's kind of middling plane when it comes to maneuverability. And as such, you would think its altitude performance would be better. You know, it's definitely worse on the maneuverability front than the Spitfire, or, or definitely like Zeros and Yaks and things of that nature. But it's more maneuverable than BF-109s and the MiGs and the um, P-51s. So again, you kind of would think since it's in the middle there that it'd be in the middle for altitude performance. It's only slightly better on the altitude performance than, um, than things like the Yak, as we can see here just barely better than the X. So it's definitely well behind the Spitfire. And so you're like, well, what the heck? Why does the Spitfire have better maneuverability and better altitude performance? Well, the thing that the Spitfire doesn't have is centralized cannons. And so you really want to take advantage of those centralized cannons on the LA line. Yeah, you've only got three of them, but three of them with, with just having them all in the center is a big, big deal. It makes a huge difference when you're attacking somebody. Um, when you're able to have them centrally located and just able to kick butt and take names. So that's uh, that's my perspective on the LA-5. I really enjoy this plane. Like I said, kept it before and love the Czechoslovakian paint um, and uh, keep on rolling with it. So keep if you're grinding this particular um, plane or if you're grinding this particular pilot, you definitely want to keep it up. It's a great pilot. Um, to add speed to the Lavochkin is, is kind of mind blowing. I hadn't really thought of doing that, but once you know now that the pilot helps that and you do some more damage with your centralized cannons this plane can definitely um do things that some of the other um tourney quote unquote tourney fighters can't do as far as speed is concerned hey look at this so it looks like we've got some additional gameplay for you so this was actually the first battle that i took uh the new pilot out and i don't know what the heck i'm doing here so clearly I'm doing a voiceover after the fact on this battle and the next battle that we'll be showing. Um, yeah, so I really like the little little additional boost that you get from it. I mean, it really kind of puts or helps the LA-5 um, compete. I liked the LA-5 previously anyway, but giving it some additional speed be able to get these guns on target is incredibly helpful. Alright, so we've gone ahead and gotten that garrison taken care of. Let's go ahead and head to the center. Um, yeah, the, the LA-5 is not the most maneuverable plane, but a combination of the speed and um, that frontline skill, you know, it, I tend to be the kind of pilot that stupidly rushes into battle first anyway. So doing that in the LA-5 is not detrimental. A, it's a little bit easier, and B, uh, you've got a little bit more defense for that kind of situation. And you just see the power of having these cannons being centralized. 
Again, not to take anything away from Spitfire, but this plane being able to put its guns a little bit more accurately on target is definitely a good thing. Unfortunately, our wing got knocked out here. Uh, probably are not going to survive very long. Maybe? Maybe? Use the pneumatic control assist to counter the wing getting knocked out there. It's one reason I use the pneumatic control assist instead of the um, wing repair, whatever the heck it's called. Um, because pneumatic control assist can be used whether your wing's broken or not. It doesn't completely repair your wing, obviously, but it, it kind of balances out um, a wing being knocked out. And again, you can also use it when your wings are perfectly fine to just maneuver better. Alright, let's see if we can use our boost and gun combination here to knock out this ME410, and the answer is yes. Uh, we did not get the kill, but Obviously, we put a chunk of damage into that guy. All right, so at this point, what do we want to do? Do we want to cap sector? I actually want to get some HP. So let's get our HP back. And then we can determine what we're going to do. We've got to look at the planes that we're up against. We're in a tier seven battle. So when I'm usually the bottom tier, I kind of let things come to me. Um, there are certain planes that you can, or I feel more comfortable with dictating pace of everything. Yeah, you know, like if I was an ME410, you can definitely do tier, 10, tier 7 stuff in that plane. Um, I'm still not 100% comfortable with this speed on this as much as it is excellent. Um, can it get me from sector to sector super quick? I'm not 100% sure yet. I believe it can. I haven't really put myself in a position to have to do that. So, we're kind of just defending here at this point. Um, I think I might have needed defense um, kills when I was playing this particular battle. Uh, the, the first battle that we just watched, I needed the Akamatsu. So I'm going to think I probably needed defense kills at this point. This is like part 3 of that mission, where the Akamatsu was part 5. Using that extra boost to get up to 7,000 feet almost, 6,500. So what is that, about uh, 2,000 meters? And let's see, staying up high here. Again, is if this guy's on low enough health, like these 23 millimeter cannons are just gonna chunk through him really quick. And even though I don't like being up this high, there's not a lot of planes here for me to worry about. And again, these 23 millimeter cannons, done. And because they're all centralized, done. Spitfire could have done that, Obviously, they gotta wait till he's kind of going in a straighter line because your your um, guns are on the wings. A zero could not have done this; could just couldn't have gotten that high. Yeah, I'm still in the yellow. Um, even if a zero's got really good guns, yaks have really weak guns and probably couldn't have gotten that high either. Um, yeah. All right, let's see if we can, what we can do here. I was kind of worried that guy was gonna turn in on me. With the um, AI adjustment, like, you never really... I'm not used to how they react to you. Sometimes they'll go head on. Sometimes they'll, uh, you know, just do their thing. And a lot of them are just doing their thing in this particular game. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. Chunka chunka! Alright. Oh, got Akamatsu there, too. What the hell? Um... See what we can do with this guy. Yeah, we definitely. This must have been um, air defense kills mission because I'm just hanging out in the center. I normally would have moved for that bottom garrison that we've already flipped, but I would have helped flip it a little quicker. Um, kind of just doing things that the LA-5 likes to do. Again, this is a, a quote-unquote balanced machine. It's it's supposed to be on the more maneuverable end, but it really it's just kind of in the middle. And so you want to. One-on-one -on -one engagements, you can definitely win. You know, if, if even against zeros and yaks. Um, the, the thing of it is, is if you know where they're coming from, you're able to get your guns on target. You're able to kind of adjust your angle. We're looking at the new guy. He looks like looks like a pilot. Um, nobody's coming to the center, so let's go ahead and let's use that speed, um, that extra speed boost that we've received. 
and see what we can do with it and get some more defense skills over here. We've gone through all 10 seconds of it. 10 seconds isn't like the most in the world, but it's significantly better than most other tier six uh, fighters, right? Uh, dang, we lost this sector anyway. What the heck? Uh, this is gonna hurt. Didn't wanna die right after Squalline. See if we can kill him right after Squalline. Um, yeah, 10 seconds is pretty significant, right? Um, I think... Like, the BF-109s and the P-51s would be the closest thing to having it 10 seconds. I'd have to look off the top of my head. Um, but even if they do, you know, this plane at Tier 6 has much better guns than either of those two planes. Let's go ahead and... Oh. Don't have enough hit points to be taking hit points for more than half a second, right? So as soon as something started hitting me, I was just like, nope, gotta turn. I'm not I'm just gonna sit there in a straight line when something's shooting at me. Uh, that guy's pulling away, so I don't feel like I'm being very effective, so let's turn off of him. Again, I don't want to line myself up for somebody to do a strafing run and completely wreck my face. I've utilized all my boost. I've got my engine pulling back. Could conceivably put my engine going on now, but I'm not. Stay alert, pilots. Large enemy force Ooh. spotted over the airfield. Oh, that's not gonna be good. That JU um, actually starts shooting me. Yep, I'm dead. Maybe. I don't know what's going on here. Game's over I'm anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's head on back. Alright, so we were able to get, uh, what, 12 frags there. Seven while defending. So this is definitely a um, defending type mission, I believe. Um, but you were able to see, like, able to move around a little bit more, get uh, some good hits in there with a 10% extra damage, and um, just add some more flexibility to this plane. I already liked it, and I'm definitely enjoying it more with the next pilot. Let's take a, a look at another battle. All right, so... For this one, I don't remember either. Let me take a sip of coffee while I think about it. I really love this paint scheme. Uh, when the Czechoslovakian line came out on World of Tanks, I was super excited. I don't know why. I just like uh, the Czechoslovak Czechoslovakian look. It's this map. Why in the hell do I have this Pilots, battle ready on action. here? And this must have been a really good battle. Alright, so I hate this map. Um, it's a three sector map, which is never ever fun. But on top of that, it is severely skewed towards the enemy team. Um, let's go ahead and use that extra boost right away. Thought my guns could aim a little bit further out. Apparently they can't. I'm high enough up. Let's go ahead and get this bow fighter knocked out as quick as possible. What we've got to do to try to win this battle is flip this sector or flip the other sector. And then get our move on there. So it would be more convenient if we could get both sectors. I mean the garrison and the airbase. But I'm trusting in my team to get that flippin' airbase. If we can get both of the sectors and hold on to them for a long enough time, we can actually um, do some good damage. Alright, so we're, we're high enough up, we're actually able to counter that Yak-1's maneuverability. Um, yay to us. Alright, let's keep on keeping on. They've got the command center. This is not setting up as a very good game. Um, I guess we need to go get at least the second sector. Come on, team. Uh, this is right about the time where I would, you know, throw some carry pants in the chat if I was on Twitch. Because... Obviously, I can't trust my team to flip a single sector. A little measly sector that we spawn right next to, for God's sake. Alright, let's get that uh, get that damage pumping out. Could have gone for that multi-roll, but I'm trying to go for the air defense aircraft. So I'm assuming that this is another one of those games that I had where I have to try to kill as many pilots in a sector you know, while defending. So if we can flip this sector, but it's just taking too long. Every time I kill an air defense aircraft, one of our people dies. It's like, come on, jeez. Alright, so we've got two sectors to their one. That's good. 
On top of that, we got our first sector before before they got their first sector, so we should be ahead on points, and we're gaining more points. The problem is, they now have bombers inbound, and with our team's ability to cap a sector, I don't trust their ability to defend a sector. So let's try to get these guns on target. I overheated them. This little spinny move was actually doing something. This is an XP... 44, right? Uh, that line, the, the P47 line, it's a pretty fast multi-role line. It's really what you kind of have to, um, it's your biggest strength on that line, to be honest, so use your uh, speed when you're going down that line. Anyway, so we're going to try to flip this sector. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I focusing? What am I? I don't even know what I'm doing. Alright, so <laughs> finally decided to start, you know, focusing on the battle. One guy knocked out, nice. Oh shoot, so we need to get our guns on target really quickly here because if this guy gets behind us or gets past us, we're in trouble. Eh, I guess we're not in trouble. All right, so we are just taking this team out to the woodshed and beating them over the head with an LA-5. Uh, let's see if we can keep this up. This plane is not necessarily built for attacking, but with the new pilot, it honestly has that capability, right? You've got more speed. Um, you've got uh, LA-5, which is you know, got these hard-hitting guns that now hit 10% harder. And you take less damage from AA. So, you know, all that kind of stuff combined is definitely helping this be a um, ADC kind of plane that isn't always be capping kind of plane. So it looks like we're doing okay capping here. They're gonna get the garrison, unfortunately. You can tell. I can feel it. Oh, I did not mean to hit that guy. Shoot. Alright. Engine's out. And yeah, we're dead. Dang it. Alright, well, we still have more than half of the command center capped but I don't like where we're at. Unfortunately, the command center is so flippin' far away that um, it's just gonna take a while. So, it looks like I'm gonna be spawning. I'm not sure that's the best thing to do, but I guess I'm gonna spawn down here. We're giving up on the garrison. We're gonna try to get some defense kills. Sometimes for these missions, you gotta go for the kills more than you've gotta go for the win. And I'm definitely trying to get as many defense skills as possible so I can get done with this uh, Japanese pilot. And we've got one, two more. Can we get a third? Yes. All right. Uh, we still have that garrison somehow. I uh, don't think that's going to hold on for very much longer. Do I win this game? It kind of looks like we're going to win this game. Um, so let's head over to that garrison and see if we can hold on to that. If we can hold on to that for long enough. Uh, Alright. There's no defense aircraft over there, so I have to kill bombers at the garrison, which just wouldn't be... It'd be doable, but it'd be a big waste of energy. Even with the more speed, um, you know, it still isn't like the best build for that kind of shenanigans. I think we're going to win this uh, game, though. I didn't think we won this game. I don't know what I'm waiting for, but it'll take a lot for them to turn this game around. Um, so let's head over to the garrison, though. They do have some planes finally moving in. And we're just kind of cruising along here. Got some planes moving in. I kind of feel like I'm AFK. <laughs> what am I doing? Hey, this game's definitely over. So let's go ahead and take a sip of coffee, and let's get these kills in. 28 seconds to squall line, so... Yeah. One, one more kill. Alright, and I think that's game. Am I kill the other guy before? Let's see. Nope. Yeah, so that was a pretty darn good all-around battle, considering we were on the crap end of the map. Uh, what did we get here? We'll be waiting for you back home. Uh, 15,600. Not too shabby, right? Um, no extra medals, but let's go ahead and head on back. Alright, so yeah, 16 overall kills. Three only while defending? Eh. 
Oh, we were able to complete that mission, so that's why we kept this one. All right, oh yeah, so here we go. Uh, 340 capture points. We were able to complete that mission for sure. Um, and they definitely could not have won that game. We could not have won that game without the LA-5 and its pilot's impact. Um, I've really, really enjoyed this plane before. I'm incredibly enjoying it now. And I highly recommend grinding it if you like the LA-5. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me on these battles. And, uh, well, keep on grinding away and have a great day. Bye.